in the 1960s, one of the most widely used character sets, ASCII, was created. It supports 128 characters, which are represented by the numbers 0 to 127. Only 95 of the 128 ASCII characters are actually printable, and the rest of them have a special meaning, such as delete or null. The printable characters include both the lowercase and uppercase English alphabet, numbers, punctuation marks, space, and a few miscellaneous symbols. ASCII is very simple, and it's perfect for anyone who only needs to use its limited set of characters, but it's impossible to use for anyone who speaks a language that uses a different set of symbols. By the time anyone decided to do anything about this issue, ASCII was already well adopted, and it couldn't just be replaced. In the early 90s, Ken Thompson and Rob Pike created a backwards compatible character set called UTF-8, which is currently the most widely used character set in the world. Any files written using the ASCII character set would be valid UTF-8, while over a million new characters would be supported. UTF-8 uses the ASCII character set as its first 128 characters, and the remaining characters are used for other symbols such as arrows, stars, emojis, Chinese characters, etc. The problem is, ASCII characters take up one byte of memory, while most Unicode characters require at least two bytes to be stored. How can a computer tell if a Unicode character is one byte or two? After all, characters are just represented by ones and zeros, and the computer has no way of knowing if a binary number is an entire ASCII character or just the start of a Unicode character. The solution is to use the first byte of a character to determine if it's ASCII or Unicode. A byte is made up of 8 bits, or 8 ones and zeros, which is capable of representing 256 numbers, while ASCII characters are made up of 7 bits and can only represent 128 values. In each byte of an ASCII file, the first bit is always 0 because it is not used, and if it was, it would be an invalid character. Ken Thompson and Rob Pike used this to their advantage when creating a backwards compatible character set and decided that if a byte begins with a 0, it is an ASCII character and takes up only one byte, but if it begins with a 1, it takes up multiple bytes. UTF-8 can store characters that use anywhere from 1 to 4 bytes, so additional information is needed to determine if a character is made up of 2, 3, or 4 bytes. This is achieved by beginning each 2-byte character with 2 ones followed by a 0, each 3-byte character with 3 ones followed by a 0, and each 4-byte character with 4 ones followed by a 0. The remaining bytes in each character begin with a 1 followed by a 0, which indicates that they are part of a multi-byte character instead of the beginning of 1. UTF-8 can only store characters that consist of up to 4 bytes, but an infinitely large character set could be created by using an arbitrary number of 1s followed by a 0 at the beginning of a character. If a character takes up 7 bytes, it would begin with 7 1s followed by a 0, which would take up a full byte, but the number of 1s at the beginning of a character could continue into the next byte until there is a terminating 0. A 100 byte character could be created if it began with 100 1s and 1 0, which would take up almost 13 bytes, but there would be 87 more bytes to store the rest of the character. Each time a 1 is added to the prefix of a character, a bit is lost, but 6 more are gained. This character set could be implemented if we ever ran out of space in the UTF-8 character set. As of June 2018, about 137,000 characters have been defined, while there are over a million possible characters in Unicode. We may need to expand the character set in the distant future if all of its valid code points have been used, but it would be completely backwards compatible with UTF-8 and ASCII. We will probably never need more than 4 bytes, maybe 5, but maybe someday we'll find aliens and join an intergalactic alliance with billions of languages and I'll be a billionaire because I have the patent for the infinitely expandable character set.